main difference may be that the financial sponsor requires a clean exit. That means that they require a certain specific amount uh, of proceeds that needs to be upstream to their investors. This has an effect on the purchase price on the one hand, but also the coverage of reps and warranties and indemnities that is offered. As regards the purchase price, this means that there is a preeminent use of the locked box mechanics and not closing date accounts. As regards the reps and warranties, a financial sponsor requires the acquirer to take out the W and I insurance for the operational warranties and also the tax indemnity in most cases. The locked box mechanism is the most common approach in the current market. It gives the advantage that you have a specific purchase price that is paid at closing. You don't have any purchase price adjustment after closing. That means that the seller receives a specific amount at the time of close, which is already fixed at the time of signing. It also has the advantage that the management of the target is not held up in the preparation, review, and sometimes even dispute of the closing date accounts. W&I insurances have become an essential element in private equity transactions in Germany. We've seen a lot of development in this market over the last years, and it would be fair to say that now more than maybe 50% of all transactions require W&I insurance on the side of the buyer. During the recent years, we've seen a lot of uh, competition in the W&I insurances market, and therefore also a lot of new policies that are offered. While at the beginning they only covered operational reps and warranties, we now see zero liability insurances being offered and also title insurances and also insurances for specific tax issues. And oftentimes they don't come along with an increase in premiums. Well, an important development over the last years was the increase in foreign investment control. We saw that in the US with CFIUS and now it has also reached Europe and more specifically Germany with their foreign investment control laws. Germany has tightened its foreign investment control laws over the last two years and now provide for a potential review of any transaction by a non-EU investor in case certain thresholds are exceeded. The thresholds are in general 25% and for specific industries even 10%. There are also current legislative initiatives on the EU level which may lead to even more complexity when it comes to investments from a non-EU investor into European targets. As a result, the clearance under the German foreign investment control regime is now introduced as a closing condition in most of the SPAs. Overall, it's important to have an eye on the market and to be familiar with all the latest development, whether it comes to w &I insurances, purchase price mechanics, or foreign investment control laws. At Kirkland Ellis, we are familiar with all these issues since we constantly advise our clients on very complex transactions in Germany.